Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned for a word from them later on. Hi, I'm Jonathan from the Netherlands. And I'm Nicole from Germany, and we've been building for one year this truck, and now we live in it full time. This is a Duff LF55 from 2012. Uh, Duff is actually a Dutch brand, which is really nice for us because now we have the spare parts in this country. We bought it with over 600,000 kilometers, and that sounds a lot, probably is a lot, but we don't know much about vehicles. But what we knew, what we wanted, was this gigantic box in the, in the back and it has thick walls and it's really strong made and that gave us a solid foundation to build the house we wanted to build. So let's have a look in the cabin. So on the cabin we didn't do too much. We added a little bit of fabric on the roof to make it feel nice. We added a rear camera so that makes the driving a lot easier. And mainly it's just a truck cabin with bouncy chairs, uh, a cruise control which we can cruise 80 kilometers per hour, which is enough for us. Yeah, and it's surprisingly silent. So we're quite happy with how the cabin drives. So our truck does uh, 20 liters per 100 kilometers, and that translates to around 12 miles per gallon. On this side of the truck, we have our outdoor shower uh, for when we're finished kiting. Uh, we have a front door, and we have our great water over here. And this is actually a nice feature. We made a couple of these boxes around the, the truck. And this one is nice in particular because it contains a fridge or a freezer or both. So at the moment on this side, we have a fridge and on this side, we have a freezer. And that's a really nice feature for us because now it allows us to bring more food and thus be longer in a specific place. We also have our wine cellar. In the back of the truck, um, on this side at least, we have the diesel tank, which is 70 liter diesel tank, and this is for our diesel heater. And then on the other side of the diesel tank, we have our LPG tank for cooking and the water heater and whatnot. And we fill that one up here. And then for the most exciting part, I would say, of this entire truck, um, the terrace. This right here is our motorcycle and we take this one along with us in the living room. It's actually really nice to have this motorcycle because the truck doesn't allow us to go everywhere but this motorcycle does also because it's an uh, off-road motorcycle and with these we're also able to do groceries so uh, we're happy with this one and then we have these And this is really nice because this takes our kite gear and it slides underneath the kitchen. So then we have the diesel tank, which is about 300 liters, and the AdBlue tank. And then this big one is our garage and it holds, well, most of the technical stuff. So also we have some more storage over here and it's actually really nice because inside we can't have too much storage because we didn't do any cabinets. And then on this side of the garage we have all the elect electrical components. Uh, we have lithium batteries with a capacity of 400 amps, it's a 24 volt system. And then on the roof we have 2000 watts of solar. Welcome to our tiny house truck tour. You're watching this video because you like vans and the idea of van life. Well, this is your chance to win a custom Mercedes Sprinter van with an eco-friendly Vansmith conversion and support a great cause, St. Jude's Children Research Hospital, which is the leading way the world understands, treats, and defeats childhood cancers and other life-threatening diseases. This is your chance to score the ultimate off-road van, a Mercedes Sprinter van with over $85,000 in customizations. Hit the road in your ultimate home on wheels with a full modern kitchen, tons of storage in a comfortable full-size bed and more. You'll get custom features like solar panels, fresh water system, domestic toilet, LED lighting, and Vansmith's green package to name a few. So start putting in those PTO requests because your next great adventure begins now. Taxes and shipping are included for US winners. Listen, this is your chance to win the van of your dreams. Head to omaze.com forward slash Florb and enter now. The earlier you enter, the more prizes you could win, including $10,000 in cash if you enter by January 13th, 1159 PST. When I was 21 years old, I started building my first van and that was an Iveco daily. And I lived 
I would say like three years on and off uh, in that van. But then I met you. I already traveled quite a bit, so I had a backpack, then I lived in a caravan. So eventually you supported me basically in getting my own camper van and then we lived together in it for like five months. So then we came up with, well, let's let's take it serious, let's take it the next step up and let's build like our van. And that's that's what this is. We'd like to give credit to my brother-in-law Auke. He's a tiny house architect and he is, I would say, the mastermind of this layout. And then we took this layout and we went and he has some co courses on Skillshare and everything. So he's really into the tiny house build and he knows this stuff. So that, that was helpful for us. Welcome to our tiny house truck tour. Come on in. So let's start with the, we think, most important part of the whole truck. And I think this is this couch with the view outside uh, over the terrace. This is also functioning as my workplace most of the time. So I sit here just with a table and a laptop and the view, of course. Underneath this couch, we also have a lot of storage. So we have three big drawers. Whoa. All bibs and bobs, also three big drawers. Over here, there's one more over there. And that's the same accessible storage that Jonathan showed earlier from the outside, where our kite stuff is. So when we walk up, we get to the kitchen. And let's start with maybe the biggest luxury item we have in this tiny house truck, which is a Siemens domestic dishwasher, because I enjoy clean counter space. From there, just a sink and a faucet. We have a little extra drawer with our bathroom stuff in here and also the bins. A 12 volt caravan camper fridge. We have a four flame stove top with two grill oven options basically. In the corner here you find all our pans, pots, we have a kitchen machine and wine glasses and everything we need. And then we have our bottle storage and eventually some extra storage but most importantly our stairs to the bed and we move up like this. And from here, basically, you have obviously the best view, but also there's some more storage space over here that is fully accessible. So we continue in our bathroom, which has a Cinderella incineration toilet and a double mini washing machine, a three kilo washing machine, which is really, really nice. And a Nabia shower, which only uses three liters per minute, which is uncomparable to anything else. From here, basically, you're in the area of our wardrobe. So we have a couple of drawers here for all our clothes. In total, five, and every one of us gets two and one shared one. As mentioned before, we have the elevated space where our kitchen sits on and all this space we made accessible for storage. So there's much more storage underneath here. In our wardrobe, we also have our technical little space, which is, to be honest, the smart home and the heart of this tiny house. So we have a nest heater and we have a little display with all our light switches, as well as the meters for water, for grey water, a computer heart, a ring alarm. Stepping back on to our elevated kitchen area, we are then in the dining room slash workstation. Our table folds up like this. And when we're eating together, having dinner, having friends over, we are usually here. While working, the screen is extendable and there's another bit of space for a keyboard and a MacBook to be here. And usually this is Jonathan's setup for editing. From here, we are basically moving back to the most central part of the tiny house truck, which is also 
The coziness level, obviously with the cubic stove mini, which we have here. I don't think it's the mini, I think it's the grizzly. Whatever. This is also the space we use when we travel, so when we are driving, to put our bikes here. So I have an electric bike and Jonathan has the motorcycle and both is stored here while driving. So one thing that was one of the dream parts for this tiny house truck is our terrace or patio. This is the space where I do yoga when it's warm and sunny outside. We have dinners here when we are parked close enough to the water, we put it down to the water. It's also our sub entrance or harbor basically. So we spend a lot of time here, especially with the nice weather outside. Okay, the cost. Um, so we, we spent 18 grand on this truck uh, and it came with box and everything. And then we spent another 47,000 on converting it. So that's like a total of around 65, uh, grand. I sold my van for 16 grand and you sold your van for 23. For 23. So we had around like 37 ish uh, uh, grand as a, as a head start already. And then we spent this entire year converting the van. We also spent working, both still have an income. So we went flat out with this one. 